My name is Kevin Benner, and I'm a Senior Professional Services Engineer with NetBrain. One of the first questions most network engineers ask when investigating a problem is, what changed? Oftentimes, the thing that they're looking for is changes to a device configuration file. Whether the config change you're looking for was intentional or unintentional, you need a reliable way to quickly find these diffs and assess their impact. You may already know that NetBrain collects configuration information regularly as part of its benchmarking processes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use NetBrain's change analysis report to find exactly what has changed in your device configurations. Let's take a look. We'll start simple, just a device on a map, double click it to view device details. We'll go to the configuration tab and then hit the compare button to get started. That gives us this pop-out window with a great side-by-side -side comparison showing the last two times a benchmark process collected this device's configuration. Notice the timestamps at the top. And at the bottom, notice these counts showing how many lines were changed, added, removed, and modified between these two configuration backups. This can be a good place to get reliable confirmation of what the device configuration looked like at two different points in time, without the traditional stare and compare process. But often network engineers ask questions that aren't answered here. Specifically, on this display, the configuration hasn't changed at all. So what if I just need to know the last time NetBrain did detect a change on this device? Or, what if I just want to see a list of all devices that had configuration changes over the last 24 hours? To answer those kinds of questions, we will need to use NetBrain's Change Analysis Report. Let's go to the tic-tac-toe dots in the upper left corner, type Change, and choose Change Analysis Report. Change Analysis Report starts with three drop-down boxes, asking us for parameters to build the report on. First, we can choose a time frame for the report. In other words, how far back do we want to look for changes? Next, we can select specific devices to report on. We'll start with the same device we just saw on the map. And finally, we can choose which types of information we want to find changes for. For now, we'll continue to focus on just the configuration file, but it's good to know that everything we're learning in this example can also be applied to route, ARP, and other device data tables. We run the report, and as expected, we see no changes were detected during this time period, which is consistent with what we already saw on the map. So let's go back further to see if NetBrain has any change history for it. We can go back a month, for example, and run the report again, and this time see what changes NetBrain detected. We'll expand this and see that two changes were detected over the time frame that we selected. When we click either Compare button, we get a display very similar to the one we saw on the map, showing how many lines were added, removed, or modified between the dates shown at the top of each configuration. The arrow buttons at the top let us quickly skip down to the lines that have changed. In this case, it looks like someone added a static route. A couple of weeks before that, it looks like someone changed a switch port trunk VLAN assignment. Now that you're familiar with the change analysis report, you might be wondering why you would use it. Maybe the most powerful use case is when a network engineer is troubleshooting an issue and needs to know when the last time a change was made to a specific device configuration or to an ARP route or MAC table. As you've already seen, the change analysis report can quickly find these changes or confirm cases where there were no changes. Another common use case is to audit changes. For example, some network engineers stop in every day just to check for all changes across their network in the past 24 hours, just to make sure that every change is accounted for and nothing unexpected has changed. In this lab environment, you can see that there have been a lot of changes in the last 24 hours. But when we expand each one, for example, this switch, hit compare, you can see they look just like our earlier search of a single device. I'll close with a couple caveats. First, remember that if you're working with devices where NetBrain does not have full CLI access, then SNMP or API only configurations are not complete and NetBrain will probably be missing most configuration changes that engineers make in the CLI. This is one more reason you should ensure that NetBrain has full CLI access to all of your devices. Next, remember that many device types dynamically change certain information that is presented in the configuration every time it's displayed. For example, some vendors routinely randomize password hashes, even when a password hasn't changed, 
or they have a clock or a counter in the configuration output. This firewall is a good example of both. The config is collected from the API and it's only about 100 lines long, so it doesn't include any of the rules or most other things that we would like to track changes in a firewall for. It also includes timestamps and counters that change every time the configuration is collected. You may initially find a lot of false positives like these in your change analysis reports, but they can be resolved by opening a case for NetBrain TAC to complete a simple driver update to ignore lines like these in change detection when they match a certain pattern. When all is said and done, the changes shown under Change Analysis Report will mirror the same changes we saw at the beginning of this video using a MAPS Configuration File Comparison window, but with the added automation for finding changes and not just a list of backups that require comparisons to be done manually. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the NetBrain YouTube channel so that you'll be notified when we release more videos like these to help you get the most out of your NetBrain platform. Don't forget to visit us at www.netbrain.com to learn about our latest no-code automation innovations, and we'll see you next time.